What happens when the power goes out? How do you turn the lights on? How do you turn the fan on? How do you charge your electric? How do you charge your phone? How do you charge your iPad? Perhaps. Here's the thing. All great in case of an emergency, but I think you're going to use this portable power station not at times when there's trouble, but at some of the happiest times during your life. Maybe. Oh, you can see now she's actually using it because the power's gone out. And just like that, she has light. This is portable, it's lightweight, but here's what I'm talking about with the fun. Tailgaters, they're powering up a crock pot and a television. How amazing for tailgating, how amazing, look at the little refrigerators being charged up there. How amazing if you know anyone who has an RV or does any camping. Um, how great where you wanna hang out on your own deck, but you'd like to be able to plug some things in out there. Here's how you do it. This is the Energy Go portable power station with your outlets, with your USB DC ports. You know, this whole category of these portable power stations have been so popular. In fact, the last one that we did, it was another company, but it sold out on a Saturday by 10 a.m. and it was $1,000. This for you might be a more palatable price point for gifting, certainly, at five easy payments of under $46. So whether you're getting it for yourself or this is going to be the wow gift for that person on your list, today's the day to pick it up and that price is going away at the end of the day and the end of the day is almost here. So take a look, our QVC price alone is $285. We're doing this for $229, five easy payments of $45.99. Just here in front of me, all just with this, look at what I have going in front of me. I have a lamp, I have a lamp, I have a fan, I have an iPad that's being charged. Oh yeah, it really is being charged. Um, I have a phone that is being charged as we speak. I have a computer that can be charged by this and we're even running a little mini fridge here all off of this easy portable lightweight portable power station so i want to go right to my friend brett hamilton this you know brett i gotta tell you yeah. i love when you bring us gifts because you <laughs> bring us gifts for the techie but for the person who's also not the techie, you make tech easy and accessible. Why do you love this portable power station so much? Well, it's funny, you know, you mentioned the refrigerator. Did you ever think you'd see a time in your life where you could be sitting out in the middle of the woods with a power station, whatever it is, and a refrigerator? <laughs> and you're like, I'm thirsty. It's 100 degrees. I'm in the middle of nowhere and I can reach in and grab a water or a glass of wine or whatever it might be. Listen, the obvious stuff is, is this center. It's the phones, it's the tablets, it's all the stuff that you showed there. But here's a little secret. People don't realize this. I'm going to set this stuff down. If the power goes out in your house during a storm and you need to get online to do work or you want to go on social media or you want to watch a video or whatever it might be, you think, well, I'm, I'm out of luck until... <laughs> until the power comes back on, that's not true. Because cable and internet and all that other good stuff still exists, it's still flying through the air, it's just that your house doesn't have power. So what if all of a sudden, you could turn your computer on and you could get back online? I'm gonna show you a magic trick, so bring me back to a full, full shot here, watch this. What if all of a sudden, everything that you use could be powered by that magic box right there? So I'm gonna give you an extreme case. I'm doing my show tonight, I'm gonna to jump down here. One computer, two computers. The camera you're looking at, the camera that's my close-up camera, the light that you see there, and another light up there. That's six devices, and the most important device is the seventh device. This is my Xfinity router, modem. It's the magic box that brings me cable and, bring, and it brings me internet. If the power goes out in your house right now, in my house right now, Everything that I'm showing you right here still works. So not only does it power up and turn on and light up and all that other good stuff, Sandra, but I can still get online. I can still watch TV. I can still do all that stuff. And for the longest time, people go, well, I had no idea. I thought when the power went out, then I am out of business. That's not the case. This device is good for 300 watts. What's amazing is that as technology gets better, the power and the draw gets lower. This is about 25 watts, so two, two uh, laptops times two is 50 watts. Not that you're doing a, a show from your home. Those cameras are like 10 or 15 watts, and these lights are 10 or 15 watts. 
it's amazing that you can do all of that stuff and still have plenty of room for other for devices. For the refrigerator. <laughs> but you can, exactly, you can add the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go back to a full screen here. Sorry about it, I didn't mean to catch you off guard there. But yeah, you can add the refrigerator, you can add the crock pot, you can add whatever it is. But yeah, it doesn't have to be a, a, a disaster. It doesn't have to be, well, the power went out. It could be the tailgate party. It could be the camping trip. It could be, you know, sitting on the sidelines of the soccer game with the kids. And you're like, I've got to charge a couple of devices or whatever it might be. So it's pretty incredible. And, and to your point at the beginning, Sandra, we don't need to know a lot about tech because yeah. this will work without knowing anything about tech. You plug so, it in and it works. Yeah. So, you know, for many years, I would pull Brett aside and say to him before the holidays, <laughs> all right, what, what should I get my husband? Because yeah. he loves I remember. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And, and I would say, which, which one do you think he would like? And Brett never <laughs> steered me wrong. And I actually ended up getting my husband some really cool gifts because of conversations with Brett. Brett, I think, has saved me again because he is very hard to buy for. However, I will tell you, we live in a very wooded area. We sure. lose power lots of times. I, I'm sure yeah. he knew, but I don't think I realized that just because my power's out doesn't mean that my internet's out or my cable's it's out. Not. I it's love this idea that I can still get that. But, you know, also, Brett, I'm thinking about for everyone who loves to go on those fishing trips or, you know, here in Pennsylvania, you have people who hunt various things, like whatever it is you're doing, whether, you know, maybe, maybe that's not your thing, but you just love going to the outdoors and yeah. sitting out at the lake like all of the sudden you can be as far removed from civilization as you want but i'm betting just you still might want to have a cold beverage you still <laughs> might want to charge up your phone to make sure yeah. you know that your husband or wife can reach you right like yep. and then tailgaters rvs i think about like just overnight camping trips how amazing this would be it automatically creates that glamping atmosphere well, and you, and you think about camping when you and I were growing up, and I'm dating us here, but, uh, you know, it's a tent, and you wake up in the morning, and you're sweaty because you've been inside this plastic, you know, device for the overnight or whatever. What if you just used it for the fan for the camping trip? What if you just used it for a light and a fan when the power goes out? What if you just used it for a crock pot on the back of your, you know, your, tail, your tailgate or your hatchback or whatever it might be? Yeah, you can plug a TV in. I mean, it's oh incredible gosh. to think. Wait, Brett, yeah, I'm, you're so right. Yeah. I'm thinking like if you know someone who loves to tailgate, right? Yeah. This is the gift they don't have. Like it's, you don't, they oh might God. already oh. have the team jerseys. They might yeah. have their cooler. They might have whatever it is they're doing to cook up whatever it is they're cooking up. I bet you they don't have this. And by the way, this yep. price point is amazing because FYI, everyone watching, the last time we had a portable power station at, here at QVC, it was a today's special value that was $1,000, and it sold out by 10 a.m. We yeah. cannot keep these in stock. This does a lot of the same things. It's going to charge everything you want, and it is a fraction at that at this today's bonus buy. Five easy payments of $45.99. You know, I'm thinking about... Oh my gosh, how about this? How about you're buying this for the guy who's a contractor or works yeah. in construction? Wouldn't it be yep. nice with while he's working all day or she's working all day to be able to charge their devices? Maybe take yeah. one of these portable refrigerators instead of trying to put everything in a cooler, maybe take the little portable refrigerator on the jobs with them. Like, so wow. for people at work, or I also think about my cousin drives long haul trucks for a living. This okay. would be amazing for him because I'm sure there's yeah. a lot of things he wants to power separately from however he powers things in that big rig, right? Like amazing for him. Yeah, when, and when you think about it, I was talking about uh, this to Dan Hughes earlier today. You know, it, when growing up, there was, I remember when the Toyota van, their first, first van came out, there was a refrigerator in the armrest. And I was like, this is the coolest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> and that car and that van, whatever you're going to call it, cost a fortune. And for a lot of reasons, but I'm sure having a refrigerator in there didn't help the price. So the fact, and, and you just nailed it on the head, and this is the first time I've thought about what you just said, talking about a contractor or somebody that's working throughout the day. Typically you pack a cooler to put your sandwich and your drinks and all that other good stuff in there. What if you could actually bring a refrigerator with you 
mm -hmm. uh, for your day. Or you know, with, yeah. whatever it is. You put two waters in there. You put a drink. You put a bag of, of fruit or, or veggies or whatever, whatever you're into. Yeah. And 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 you go and you're just like. And here's the cool part: when the car turns off, this thing still works. Unlike the really expensive vehicles that have the refrigerator and all that stuff built in, where it has to be turned yeah. on and powered up and all that stuff. So yeah, it's the, the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, so they I really like, are. For, for like, listen, we get it, right? Lights go out. You want this because yeah. you maybe instead of having a flashlight, you just have all your you have your lamps, you have your fans, yep. you've got your little refrigerator here. We're charging iPads, we're charging phones, we're charging laptops all at once. It's amazing right. for that. But think about, well, my brother-in-law build a shed at the end of his property. He stores a lot of stuff in it. He doesn't have a lot of electricity down there. Perfect for power. that, right? Um, I think about my mom who has horses in a in this like barn that doesn't have a lot like electricity. Amazing for that. So yep. think about what you do for recreation. Does the person you're buying for love to spend time in the outdoors do they rv do they camp do they tailgate this do they work at a job site all day long this is amazing and of course when the power goes out that's when everybody in the family is glad that you got this as a holiday gift over 1500 or only 1500 remaining now's the time to pick it up 1-800-500-7590 brett i'm looking at this video and i'm thinking yeah oh my gosh the envy of everyone <laughs> well, Hey, we, 4th of July, we were sitting, we tailgated at the 4th of July to watch some fireworks, and we yeah. sat there for a long time. The kids were getting antsy. Uh, yeah. I would have loved to have had this in the back of the car. Well, and, and you think about, you know, go. let's go back five years, ten years, whatever it is, before portable power and all that other good stuff, uh, before you could take a TV on the road with you. But typically, if you had a small TV like this, where are you going to plug it in? You're going to plug it into a wall outlet. And it will work when you're at home. And then all of a sudden streaming devices and all that good stuff came along. So here's a fire stick from Amazon plugged into a portable television. And guess what? See so if I can do this without knocking it over. I'm running a television and I can watch pretty much anything I want. And when I say pretty much anything I want, um, let's see here. Open QVC. You could watch QVC on your portable TV in your backyard. And you're like, is that, a, is that really possible? Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> so now I'm not connected to cable. <laughs> I'm just connected to the internet and I could be on the back porch with my uh, energy uh, power station and be able to connect to the world, whether it's with a fire stick or whether it's at the computer, whatever it might be. So all the places that you don't have power you now have power. Meg and I, earlier this summer, was end of July or whatever, we had some friends over, and we had this little area that we cleared out when we moved in, and we put some mulch down and all that other stuff, and she's like, let's string some lights. I was like, here's the only problem with stringing those lights. we got to plug them into something. Oh. We plugged them into this. And for I the entire that. night, we had light twinkling from the trees, and the neighbors were like, that's like an Instagram. Blah, blah. I'm like, that's not what I was going for. I don't care about all that stuff. I just I care about the fact amazing. that we could actually see. Well, yeah, also, it looked and really, really if, cool. Like, what if you wanted to plug something in, like, I don't know, like a shaping dish or crock pot? Like, you're taking food yeah. out there. Like, it would be awesome. Now, here's the thing. Five yep. easy payments of $45.99. Unlike... Now this is okay. I, w I just want to say what this is not. This is yep. not the gas power generator no. nope. that when the power goes out, you now are operating your big refrigerator and your walk in no. freezer or something. Yep. It's absolutely not that. No. If you want that, that's a whole different thing and it's not $229.96. No, but here's what this is it's quiet. You know, Brett, when the power goes out in my neighborhood, got some neighbors that have those generators you open the door and you hear rrr, 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 rrr. I would those are great but like if you were gonna RV or something you couldn't have that outside your camper you wouldn't be able to get any sleep you'd yeah. be disturbing everybody listen how quiet this is going listen you don't hear anything it's so quiet it's whisper quiet and tell me again how much can I plug in here and charge and then how do I charge the unit itself I'm sorry, say that again, Sandra? Oh, I was saying, I just had two questions for you. I just want to retouch yep. for everyone joining us. How much can I realistically charge with this? Yeah. And then how do I charge the portable power station itself? 